Yeah, what's in the box? Hey everybody, it's Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. Kingsman The Secret Service opens this week, and there's bound to be lots of cool spy toys in this. So while we wait, let's count down our top 10 favorite movie spy gadgets. Here we go. At number 10, we have a very cool invisible car from Die Another Day. I'm not sure how totally useful that is based on how difficult and expensive it would be to make, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Oh, very good. Adaptive camouflage, tiny cameras on all sides project the image they see onto a light emitting polymer skin on the opposite side. You see, to the casual eye, it's as good as invisible. Speaking of cars, we have to throw in the Shagwire from the Austin Powers franchise at number 9. I think its main function is mostly to get the ladies, and I suppose that's a pretty cool gadget in the eyes of some. The rocket belt from Thunderball is one of the first well-known spy gadgets to grace the silver screen. This thing is iconic and added just enough science fiction to the world of secret agents to make them seem superhuman. Number seven is a bit of a stretch since it doesn't necessarily belong to a traditional spy, but then again it's Batman, so who the hell cares? It's the cell phone sonar from the Dark Knight. Need to find someone? Apparently there's an app for that. Frequency generator receiver. You took my sonar concept and applied it to every phone in the city. With half the city feeding you sonar, you can image all of Gotham. This is wrong. I've got to find this man, Lucius. Brad Bird and Tom Cruise brought together to make a movie, I was there day one, for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. It didn't disappoint either, and one of the best and most memorable moments is with the climbing magnetic gloves. Number five is a classic, one that almost everybody knows when they see it. It's the Neuralizer from Men in Black. A very cool gadget I would actually like in my own personal arsenal. Oh, that's good, fellas. Give me a splay burn around the perimeter with holes at 40, 60, and 80 meters from right here. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. What in the hell is going on? Excellent question. And the answer you're looking for lies right here. Who are you? Really? Really? I am just a figment of your imagination. Number four is not necessarily the most inventive or coolest or even most high-tech gadget, but it does get the job done. It's the poison shoe knife in the James Bond classic from Russia with Love. Sometimes simple is still the best. Yes, number one. Our rules are very simple if you fail. <laughs> seconds. One day we must invent a faster working venom. Speaking of shoes, let's jump on another classic that most everyone knows no matter how old you are. It's the shoe phone from the original TV show and modern movie remake of Get Smart at number three. I wonder if that phone was made by Motorola. The old call forwarding from the shoe phone to the cell phone so you don't know where I am and then I appear on the roof behind you and surprise everyone. Trick. Don't move. Max, what are you doing? The first 
first Mission Impossible movie lands at number two with a very cool scene and one of my favorites. Tom Cruise shows us how well his explosive gum works on a massive aquarium tank. Based on their advertising, this could almost be a commercial for Stride Gum. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. All right, aunt. Enough is enough. You have bribed, cajoled, and killed, and you have done it using loyalties on the inside. You want to shake hands with the devil that's fine with me? I just want to make sure that you do it in hell. Number one spy gadget is the classic vehicle that defines the choice of transportation for James Bond no matter the era. It's the Aston Martin. Here we see the Aston Martin DBS V12, which unfortunately doesn't make it to the end of the movie in one piece. And that wraps up this week's Joe Blow Top 10. Tell us what your favorite spy gadget is and which one you would want in real life. We're getting close to the 1 million subscriber mark, so if you like this series and want more, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I'm Jason Dean, and I'll see you next time.